Richard. This is a start of a new series suggested by you, where I show the creation of a single image from start to finish. That is, of course, from photography, the way I approach a subject like beetling, for example, right through to post-production and the final JPEG image. For my second Get the Picture program, I'm going to take you to one of my favourite places in West Sussex, Arundel. It's a town on the south-facing slope of the South Downs with the River Arun at its feet, which was once a port. Prominent buildings include the parish church, the Roman Catholic Cathedral, and of course, the castle. And the main part, which we see, is Victorian. And I'm going to take you now inside to one of the state rooms and show you how I conduct my photography inside this wonderful building. Here we are then, inside, and we get our first shock. No tripods. So we got to hand hold. Now I'm using the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II camera plus the 12 to 100 Pro lens. Both have image stabilizers. And hand holding with this combination, I can take pictures sharp pictures at shutter speeds of a quarter, even a half a second. The other problem is, of course, the complexity of light. Now, although I've got the white balance on daylight, although I'm saving to raw, then I can make fine adjustments afterwards in Adobe Lightroom. Metering, again, is a problem. I prefer spot metering. And to aid me, I use the electronic finder in my camera. I can see precisely what I am doing. This is something you can't do with an optical finder unless you use the live view screen on the back of the camera. We move now from the shoot to the home studio and post-production. Now I'm using, out of preference, Adobe Lightroom. And I'm showing you first the image as taken in camera with no alterations. The first thing I look at is the colour profile. Now I find that this setting I get slightly more punchier colours. Also at this stage, quite early on, I adjust the white balance. I then bring the highlights and whites right down and take the blacks and shadows up a little bit. And now we're getting something very close to what I remember. I then go down to clarity, increase it just a bit, not too much. Sometimes I play around with vibrance, but I've decided not to do that on this occasion. Also the picture, well, it looks a little bit uh, wonky, doesn't it? So we're going to go further down the table, the scale, and adjust the rotation so that everything looks upright. Now we are ready to import the picture in Adobe Photoshop, where I will carry out additional tasks that I cannot do in Lightroom. What is important here is to carry out as many adjustments as possible in post-production, in your preferred software. Now with Lightroom, these changes, they don't overwrite the original file. That is kept intact. The changes are kept as a sidecar file. Therefore, if things go wrong or six months later I change my mind, then I can go back to the original image. Provided, of course, I don't tie my hands some way when I'm taking the picture. Whatever I do in camera and in post-production, what is important here is that you can back the track. The reason for this is that the creative process, at least in me, doesn't stand still. 
And certainly, I keep changing my mind. I look at a picture and think, why on earth have I done that? 